Everything started with a hashtag on social media against big media corporations. Enraged by DC's lackluster Justice League movie in 2017, the fans demanded that DC Films should release the Snyder Cut and it finally happened. And what a premiere it was! Oh my god! And now we can't wait for a sequel to come up, so here's what we know about it. Let's start with a quick recap of what happened in 2021. The Justice League has had a quite an interesting journey to the big screen, with the 2017 DCEU movie proving to be a critical failure, fans around the world started a war on social media against the studio. Let's go a little back for those who don't know what really happened. The first role of Justice League Dice happened in 2017 when Warner Brothers Pictures faced difficulties in production. The movie script underwent major changes before and during 2016 and 2017, and mostly after Zack Snyder stepped down after his tragedy in his family in May 2017. He's been effectively replaced by Joss Whedon, but with unfinished effects and a little music, this version turned out to be a real disaster. That's why fans demanded more, more Snyder actually, and ultimately more content. Even Whedon's previous successes with Avengers Assemble and Avengers Age of Ultron on MCU weren't enough this time. According to avid fans, he ruined the Justice League by changing its ending and pumping it full of trademark humor. So fans were given a bizarre Frankenstein of a movie. It managed to gross $656 million worldwide, even though it needed to reach $750 million just to break even. There are enemies coming from far away. I need warriors. After this development of events, Warner Brothers finally moved ahead again with Snyder in February 2020. And in May, Snyder officially announced that a new movie named Zack Snyder's Justice League will be released as an HBO Max original film. And it finally came up in March 2021 as a memory of Autumn Snyder. And did I mention it's four hours long? Well, yes, the movie is longer than Avatar, The Avengers Endgame, and any of the Godfather movies. Only Kenneth Branagh's 1996 adaptation of Hamlet lasts the same. So we can say that it's the longest major studio theatrical release in cinematic history. Like its theatrical version, Snyder's Justice League follows Batman recruiting his superpowered friends Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and The Flash to seek their fallen buddy Superman and thwart an alien invader. Yes, there's a plot that is almost the same as in the first film, but the plot is maybe the tenth most important thing in this film. Many scenes have been moved or reshaped, and some have been restructured, but almost everything has been lengthened. It's hard to retell a whole four-hour story, but if you haven't seen the movie yet, I will tell you how it starts, but first hit that like button below the video. It picks up where Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice left off. Following Superman's death, a computer-generated behemoth named Steppenwolf, who is now with a lot more spikes on his armor, arrived on Earth to retrieve three mother boxes. The most remarkable thing in the movie is the cyborg storyline. This expanded the story, which is good, because he, as a character, has an intriguingly conflicted relationship with the superpowers that makes him maybe the most interesting one on the team. Zack Snyder's version has a great 8 rating on IMDb and a fantastic 94% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, so if you're still thinking about whether to watch the movie and spend 4 hours of your free time, I assure you it's worth it. You won't even have to think to nap during these 242 minutes of action. Now let's see what are the chances of Snyder's Justice League getting a sequel. Well, it's very hard to say at this point because nobody really knows. Even though his version was released in March 2021, Snyder has always been realistic about the chances for a sequel and he claimed that Warner Brothers has been aggressively anti-Snyder. In August 2021, Charles Robin, who's a longtime DC producer, said that he hopes he'll be involved in a possible Justice League sequel, but he also said that this will take a couple of years if it happens. But if we follow the studio's recent announcement from July 2022, we will surely be disappointed, as they said to not have plans to continue the Snyderverse. Also, Warner Media CEO Anne Sarnoff's statement for Variety was a cold shower for fans. She said that they're happy with Snyder's completing his trilogy, but that's where it stops. I appreciate that they love Zack's work, and we're very thankful for his many contributions to DS. We're just so happy that he could bring his cut to the Justice League to life, because that wasn't in the plan until about a year ago, she said. But let's take Robin's words as a possible scenario for the Justice League's future and hope that if not Snyder, then he'll jump in his place and continue the saga with a new movie. Let's say that we could hear more about this in 2023 or 2024. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Not us united. And what can we expect from the cast of the possible Justice League's second chapter? If Warner Brothers goes ahead with a sequel, it's safe to say that most of the main cast would come back to reprise their roles. But we could not see more from Ray Fisher as Cyborg, as the actress said many allegations of racism and abuse against the studio and the director Joss Whedon. 
The actor was supposed to appear together with Ezra Miller in the Flash movie. And you should smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell below the video right now. No, really, after Fisher's statement on his Twitter account, he is maybe fired from Cyborg role forever. In the movie, we saw Bruce Wayne waking up from the vision he had and chatting with the Martian Manhunter who pledges to help in the coming war. It was previously planned for Wayne T. Carr to step up as the Jon Stewart Green Lantern, but it seems like Warner Brothers had other plans for the character and that's why Martian Manhunter shows up instead. So Carr could pop up in a potential sequel though. And what can we expect from the story if Justice League continues with the second chapter? We know that Zack Snyder originally had planned Justice League 2 and 3. Just before the premiere of the first film, Snyder had many interviews where he shared some details about how the fight against Darkseid would look like. He said that Darkseid would have killed Lois Lane just to break Superman's will and brainwash him so he can enslave the whole galaxy. And with Superman as the main villain, the Justice League could try to seal another mother box and that's how the Flash will be able to travel back in time to prevent Lois's death. This could also affect Ben Affleck's Batman as he could sacrifice himself to save Lois and keep Superman on his old path. The leaks for the third film say that Superman could lead a combined army of Amazons, Atlanteans and many other heroes against Darkseid and that will be a fight that will decide the fate of the universe. Of course, this is by Snyder's plans, but let's get back once more to what Warner Media CEO Anne Sarnoff told Variety. While she doesn't give us much trust that we could see more Snyder's Justice League projects in the future, we're happy we've done this, but we're very excited about our plans for all the multidimensional DC characters that are being developed right now, said Sarnoff. At this point, Justice League 2 looks a long way off. After all, a sequel could be different as Ben Affleck is no longer Batman. Although he'll appear in The Flash and Cavill appears to only be cameoing as Superman for now. But with the release of Black Adam, we can say that the DC Universe now has the perfect villain in place for the sequel. As the movie proved that Dwayne Johnson's new anti-hero character could beat the Justice Society and Sebak. Now that Peter Safran and James Gunn are in charge of DC Studios, they could begin work on the new 10-year plan that Warner Brothers CEO David Zaslav wants and the box office success of Black Adam could easily see the character involved in the potential sequel for Justice League. Of course, this is only a presumption and nothing is official at this point, but you'll agree it's a great idea. And this is enough for now. We'll see each other in another video soon. Thanks for watching.